Hello and welcome to this week's What's Hot. So, delisting was always flagged up as being a theme of 2024, so I'm not sure I understand the outrage associated with the news that so many companies are delisting. Now, remember, it's expensive to have a listing on the stock exchange. Figures range from it costing £22,000 a year to have a listing. Then there's the cost of the initial public offering when you first come to market, once you've paid the lawyers, the compliance officers, the nomads, the website developers, the compliance officers. You could be looking at a cool quarter of a million pounds or at least 15% of the gross proceeds from that IPO. And of course, when you list, you are offering shared ownership, so you could lose ownership and custody of your baby. Now, I have extensively covered the activity in Superdry Founder Returns, tries to take the business over, tries to resuscitate the business, shares tank, and it's now being delisted. And I quote, for the following reasons, the delisting will allow the company to benefit from significant cost savings associated with being listed and implement its turnaround plan. So once valued at 1.7 billion pounds in 2018 when shares closed this week the market capitalization was six million pounds however some investors will have benefited along super dry's listed journey now it's not necessarily the end when you delist some return i'm talking about apple General Motors, Netflix, they all delisted to return bigger and stronger. However, the party people, it appears, did not return post-pandemic. And that culturally and financially is impacting revolution bars, the cocktail and vodka themed enterprise. Now, within the past week, it's agreed a rescue package from Luke Johnson and friends, Luke Johnson of the Patisserie Valerie and Pizza Express notoriety and currently Gail's Bakery. And it should be noted that the current chief executive took part in the most recent fundraising episode. And finally, eTherapeutics, it's delisting from AIM and the chief executive will have played out so many scenarios before committing to that decision. The chief executive, Ali Mortazavi, is one of the world's greatest chess players, so hopefully he's one step ahead in this decision made, especially when he's considering listing the company on the Nasdaq. So there is strength in capitulation. Leave the battlefield, rest, eat your porridge and return stronger. Apparently, that's what they did at the Battle of Bannockburn way back in 1314. Stay well, take care. I'll see you same time next week.